Hey everyone, it's Laurel. Today I wanted to share this card with you. I'm actually I'm gonna make um like a set of kind of matching cards like this one to give to someone as a gift. So they're all gonna be similar in that they're gonna be the same shaped card and they're gonna have flowers on them. The sentiments and um the colors and stuff will vary a little bit, but basically it's they're going to be like this one. So today I thought I'd share the one that I'm working on now with you. So to create this card I used um, this card base here. And the SVG file to cut this out is available uh, for free in my mailer shop. And the link will be in the description, um, the video description below. So you can just go ahead and download this file and create a card like this. And so it cuts out the shape and the holes cut out and it has this score line. That cuts out for you as well. So all you have to do is go ahead and um, fold it on the score line and crease it with your bone folder. And you have your card here. So all I did was I gave it a little mist up here with some spray ink just to give it a little bit of color and then what I'm going to do is to make these flowers on this card here I used um, another SVG file that I have available in my shop and it cuts out these kind of rolled flower shape like this and I created this file because I wanted the petals to be a little less rounded like a lot of the um, flower shapes have like just regular scallop shaped petals so you can see that this one there's little points on each of the petals so it just gives it a slightly less uniform look when you put your flower together and when I create these kind of flowers I always cut them out of white cardstock and then I spray them with spray ink. So I'm going to try and do that here without making a huge mess. Because I like to use this spray ink versus cutting it out of colored cardstock because it gives it kind of that variegated um, look like a real flower would have. So I'm going to take my flower and I'm going to use this is it's the stream Adirondack color wash but in here I have it diluted a little so that the color is not quite so blue as it is when it comes straight out of the bottle so gonna do that one and then I think on this one I'm gonna try and spray there and I'm gonna let it get a little lighter right there so I'm gonna leave it like that um, I'm gonna dry these with my heat gun and I'll be right back So I've dried this with my heat tool and then the other thing I did is I kind of scrunched it up like this in my hand and then just um, flatten it back out. It's probably better if you do that before you spray it with ink. The paper gets a little stiffer when it's wet and then dried again so I probably should have done that first but it's fine like this too. So. That's my big one. And then on the other one, I ended up tearing off um, the end of it because I want to make a big flower and then just like a little bud. So once I've done that, the, to put the flower together, I'm going to use this thing. I 
don't know what it's called. Um, but I like it because you can grab onto the end of your paper and just roll it up. You can just roll it like this. And I just find it's a lot easier um, than trying to do it with your finger. Um, a tweezer, a pair of tweezers works really well for doing this too. And it doesn't matter what it looks like because all you want to do is start getting your flower into a rolled up kind of shape. And then all you do is pull this tool out after and you have your flower that looks like that so what I usually do is I'll roll the middle like that and then I'll just put a little drop of hot glue on there and then I'll just keep rolling it up and just add little dots of glue as you go around and then when you get to the end all you have to do is glue it on there and you have your flower so now I'm going to do the same thing with this little piece that I broke apart and this is the the inside of the spiral where the circle is in the middle so I broke off the outer piece so I'm going to use my little tool again and just roll this one up So now I have that and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here and then on my little circle on the end. So now I have a flower and a little bud. So then all I do is I just take a pair of tweezers and I just kind of bend the ends of the outside petals down just to kind of open the flower up a little bit And then I'll do the same thing on here. And this one's supposed to be a bud, so I'm not going to open it up too much. So maybe just like that. So I just have a tiny little bud like that. So... That's my card. I also um, stamped this little sentiment on a banner that says just because. And I think I'm just going to use my flowers. I also cut the leaves out that go with the flower. 
and I sprayed them with some green ink so I think I'm just gonna have it go like that first I want to tie my ribbon on my card so I'm just going to thread it through the holes that are already cut into the card ribbon off I'm just going to even out my bow a little bit trim these off so now I'm going to stick my flowers down and I think I'll just have it go something like that so um, I'm going to grab my glue Sorry, my glue was stuck. So I'm just going to glue um, glue my leaves together like that. So I'll stick my leaves down. And my flowers. And then I'll just put some glue onto my sentiment. Stick that down right there. So that'll be my second card that goes with my set here. And um, so these go together pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to do a few more of them, put them together in a set, and then I'll have my gift ready to give. So once again, the scallop shape card base is available as a free download in my shop and the link is in the description below. You can also get the file to cut out the little rolled flowers and the downloads include 
the SVG file as well as the studio file. So and with the SVG file, you can use it with any cutting program that's SVG compatible. So things like Make the Cut or Shortcuts a Lot. This studio file you can use um, with the Silhouette Studio program. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. Uh, thank you for watching my video and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!